What's up guys, I know a lot of people out there were having trouble with the bow method of duplication, so now we're gonna check out a duplication method with the shield that allows you to duplicate more, meaning instead of getting one item, you'll get multiple, and on top of that, it seems to be faster. So all you're gonna need for this is the ability to shield surf, which is just jumping in the air and then hopping on your shield, and for this method, all you really need is to have a single one item in your inventory. So by that I mean, see I have five wood here, so I'm gonna take four of them, not all five, I'm simply just going to take it so that I have one left, and I'm going to hold these and then drop them over the edge of this cliff. That way, instead of five, I have one. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and duplicate these Captain Construct horns, and what we're gonna do for this is I'm gonna put them at the bottom of my inventory list. They need to be the bottom most item there, so I'm going to drop every single one. Here I have 10, and then I'm going to pick them all up, so that way all 10 are at the bottom of my inventory. So we're going to go ahead and shield surf, jump in the air, press pause, then you're going to want to hold your single item, and then the other four slots with your duplication item, and then once you do this, it'll drop it all onto the ground, and then you just pick them back up, and you'll notice that instead of 10, you now have 14. Now I'm going to go over some things that might just go wrong for you in this scenario. So first off, you can only have about 20 items on the ground before they start despawning and you'll lose items. You don't want to do that. So make sure that if you're going to be duplicating something above 20, it's either something that you're going to be selling and you have a market nearby to go ahead and get your profits before you continue duplicating. And then also on top of that, you want to be super duper extra careful about the item that you switch to use for your one single item. You don't want to use any bugs or wildlife because obviously if you hold them and then drop them, they clearly will fly away. And then if you don't care, you don't care. But the fact of the matter is you're going to lose that item because it's alive and it's going to run from you. So now I'm going to show you what happens if you do do the glitch and you use an item that is alive and can run from you. So I'm going to use this frog and then I'm going to duplicate my opal here. So I'm going to hold one frog. My opal's at the end, so I'm going to select four of those. As you can see, once I drop them all, I can easily pick up all of my opal again. But the frog is gone because it's alive, and as you can see, it's gone from my inventory. Well, I hope that helped you guys out. Definitely hit that like button for the algorithm and subscribe for more content like this. I'm also making a lot of videos to dive into the lore of Zelda and check out some of the beasts and creatures and go through a history and description of them. So definitely hit that subscribe button. Again, hit that like button and show you care. Much love. As always, be safe out there.